guys and welcome back to my channel SJTV. Today's video is going to be a fall makeup look. And as I mean fall, today is the first day of fall and I wanted to do something that was fall um, incorporated and I went with the colors that are brown, orange, um, a little bit of burgundy here and there. Um, I wanted to leave my lip my favorite, which is the nude with the brown lip liner. So, if you want to see this look, please continue watching. Okay, so as you can see, I am going to be applying my tape here. I have my eyebrows done already. I will be doing a video on that um, as soon as possible. I know it's been a delay and it's been a while that I've have done a video, but I didn't forget about you guys. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking my Sephora Pro Blending Brush and I'm going to be taking my um, natural color hair in my Buxom Create Your Own Palette. And now I'm just going to be placing, matter of fact, wait, before I even do that, I forgot to apply my um, eye primer. Starting off wrong already. So I'm going to be using my NARS, I know it's so dirty because it's white. I'm going to be using my NARS um, Pro Prime for my eyelids. Okay, so now that I have my eyelid primer on, I'm going to go into my buxom palette like I said before and I'm going to just take a little bit of that and I'm going to be using it as my transitioning color. And I'm going to be going into my Morphe 350 palette. This is the matte and the shimmer and I'm going to be taking this semi green brownish color here these colors don't have a name so this is why I keep saying this color here and this color here I would describe the colors as best as possible but if I can't I'm so sorry guys so I know I've been gone for a while now and I am so sorry that I've been gone for so long the last video I have done was about a month ago um why i don't know i just really haven't been in the mood to be making youtube videos it's a lot that goes on into these youtube videos it may seem like it's easy but it's really not that easy okay so now i'm just going to be going in with um this orange color here and i am going to be placing that into my crease also And I have the tape here just to give it that nice sharp edge because usually if you won't use a tape um, then pretty much you know it won't be messy but you won't have that sharp sharp edge like like I normally like. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with this copper color here, and I'm going to be placing that onto my lids. And I'm going to be using my finger for this one. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with this brown color here and I'm going to be placing that in my outer corner so today is the first day of fall and how do you guys feel about it well, really for me, fall is not really my cup of tea type of weather. 
uh, my birthday is in the fall, which is in October. But I don't really care for the fall because that's just letting me know that it's starting to get cold outside. And I'm really not a winter, a winter person. So, you know, I just rather have it spring and summer all year round. But fortunately, it can't be like that where I live. So, um, yeah. So I'm just going back in now with my blending brush and I am just blending those colors out together. Okay, so now I'm going in with this gold here and I'm going to be placing that in my, um, not my tear duct, but right in pretty much my tear duct. Okay, so now that we're done with the eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking my gel eyeliner and I'm going to be doing a cat wing. Okay, so now that I have my eyeliner on, I am going to remove my tape. Oh, look at my little baby wing. And I am going to be moving on to the rest of the face. Now I'm going to be going in with my Urban Decay Oil Control because I have oily skin and really bad oily skin so I have to use so many different matte and oil control primers and everything so that my makeup won't shine throughout the rest of the day. And now I'll be going in with my Becker Alter Ever Matte Coreless Primer and I'm going to be placing this in my T-Zone. This is one of the best matte primers ever. It reminds me of the Too Faced um, Step 2. That's the gray one. That's in the gray one. Um, if you have that one, then you don't need to worry about getting um, this one unless you just want to. But if you have that uh, Makeup Forever one, then you are, you know, totally fine. The only thing about this one that I don't really care for is that it leaves that white residue. Um, I believe the Too Faced, I mean not Too Faced, I believe the Makeup Forever leaves that white residue too. But other than that, this is an absolutely wonderful makeup primer if you have oily skin. If you have dry skin, then I wouldn't use this one. I would just go ahead and just use a regular moisturizer. But for people that have oily skin like myself, this is wonder, Sunny. So now I am just going to go in with my foundation. And this is the Luminous. I'm using two different foundations today. I am using the Becker Luminous. And I'm going to be using the um, 355 Fit Me. And this is the matte um the matte foundation and this is the luminous foundation um this one's the dewy one and this is the matte one if you didn't understand so i usually take my um what brush is that that i normally use here we go i normally take this brush here to apply around my eyebrows um and to put in my t-zone because i do not like that halo effect not saying that i don't like it but it just I like it when it gives me that more natural effect. So I normally just put it here and then just blend it out. And then I put my um, matte primer in my T-zone because I'm oily there, really extremely oily. And then I normally just take the, uh, the Becca Luminous one and I normally just put that one around the rest of my face like on the outside so pretty much if you want to make this like a highlight thing you can 
but because I normally don't highlight I normally just have this as my t-zone foundation and um, I use the Becca for my overall face and this is what I do to my eyebrows just so I won't have that bright halo effect see how natural that looks so I missed you guys like honestly my channel has been growing and I am super super excited if you don't follow me on snapchat please do I will leave everything at the bottom of the description box for those who may need it and I love this um, fit me foundation I love this fit me foundation it is so amazing so so amazing so I'm trying not to make this video too long but knowing me it may be long so now I'm just taking the rest of the other foundation that I have and I just pretty much apply it to the bottom of my face and um, around my forehead and everything like that and then I'll take my blending brush and blend everything together and this is a damp beauty blender if you um I'm pretty sure y'all watch other people YouTube videos and everything like that so I'm pretty sure everybody uses a wet beauty blender if you do not use a wet beauty blender please start using one now because this will change the effect in your foundation like really this will change the effect in your foundation you see how natural my foundation and everything is looking already I usually use a stippling brush before but then I just started using my beauty blender all together okay so now that you're finished blending your life away I am going to be taking my Lord Mercy Art and I'm just going to put a little bit in my cap or in my top. Um, I am just going to be using just a little bit. I might even use my wet blue blender because I didn't call, I didn't conceal or anything. I really don't need to conceal and I really don't like the highlight part. But for this video's sake, I will do this for you guys. Before I started using the um the Becker Ever Matte, um, I used to use my translucent powder under my foundation so that I won't have that casket sharp look. Um yes, I used to use it under my foundation. So before I put my foundation on. I would um, moisturize my skin, put my poreless primer and everything on, and, um, and then I would use the translucent powder over top of the primers and everything, and uh, what they call it, I would use it over top of um, my primers and everything, and then I would go in with my foundation, and that really helps me a lot with... Um, keeping my skin from shine free all day but then once I got the ever matte I didn't need to do that anymore so I haven't really used my translucent powder in a while because like I said I really don't conceal and highlight with the concealer so So now I'm just going to be taking my brush, just, just that extra little bit of translucent powder that I have on. And now we're going to go into contouring. Guys, I'm just like really in a good mood. And um, I'm just so happy to start back recording and everything. I just missed it so, so, so much. Honestly, I really have just truly missed it. And I am going to be going in with my um, Black Radiance 
the only pretty contour that I usually use. And I'm going to be going in with my BH Cosmetics. This is the number 110. This is the contour brushing. Before, I used to use this as my contour brush. But it really just left me that sharp B time. Um, um, ooh. I, it really just left me that sharp line there. And um, I really didn't like it after a while. So now I've just been using this one. And I pretty much like my contour a lot better. So I'm just going to be taking the same powder and just warming up my skin pretty much with the, um, the black radiance. to snatch this chin and make it seem a little slimmer I've been working out and going to the gym faithfully um, three days a week because uh, I can't leave out Bible study Tuesdays and Thursdays so if I didn't have anything to do on Tuesdays and Thursdays I'll be going to the gym five days a week but you know it's okay I get to go three days a week so Now I'm going to be taking my smaller contour brush and I'm going to be using this for my nose. And I'm going to be contouring my nose. So now I'm just going to be taking my beauty blender again and I'm just going to be sharpening up that contour. And now I am going to be going in with my blush, which is this one here. And um, what blush am I going to be doing? Here's my blush brush. And I'm going to be taking my 125 brush from BH Cosmetics. And this blush right here is it's an old, old blush, old blush I've been having. This is one of my favorite ones. And um, this is from I believe the Kors line from Sephora. And now it is time to highlight. So let's get this highlighter. And this is the highlighter. This is one of, to me, this is one of the best highlights from the drugstore. This is Color City or City Color. And I'm going to be taking my fan brush here. And I normally just use this color that's right here. This is the, the golden one. And um, I normally just take that one. I'm just going to apply it. Put a little bit too much on. So I have to share it because. I like. 
Uh. Oh, beautiful. And now I am going to be taking my 101 blending brush from BH Cosmetics and I am going to be taking the same color from the highlight and palette and I am going to place this right here on the tip of my nose just to give me that natural glow. And apply it right to you. And on the bridge of my lip. I'm going to go back into the eyes and I'm going to line my waterline with my Joe eyeliner. This is pretty much the easiest thing for me to use when it comes to line in my waterline because if I use the crayon it doesn't pretty much glide on as easy it makes me teary eyed okay and now I'm going to go in with my orange here at the bottom and I'm going to be placing alright and I'm going to be taking my flat brush and I'm just going to be going back into that gold from the Morphe palette and I'm going to just place this in my water here. and I finally got me a pair of the Vegas May lashes this is my first time using them I hope I like them um they seem a little extra but <laughs> but let's see um how this comes along but these lashes are everything okay i know it look like when i blink i'm about to fly and take off the wear but these lashes are everything they are so beautiful and they were so easy to apply the band on them were so thick you know but they other than that they were so easy to apply so now that i have my lashes on i'm going to place some mascara at the bottom of my um lash line so now that i applied my lash my mascara to my um bottom lines i am going to go in with my of course you know my favorite my lip liner and this is in the color Karamuzu, I believe it says. It's number 13 from the Sephora line. Can't do a fall lip without a fall lip. <laughs> yes! Can't do a fall lip. No, I messed up. Can't do a fall look without a fall lip. There we go. with my um, Too Faced. This is the Melted Matte and this is in the color Cool Girl. And last and least, I am going to be setting my face with my Urban Decay um, Earl Oil Control.
Now let me go put some clothes on and do my hair and I'll be right back. <laughs> 